morning, Eagle Nick. Oh, it's good morning, everybody. Good morning to everybody. How is everybody doing this morning? How is everybody doing this morning? You know what I mean, Burn. Coffee ain't worth the crap. We're not falling into that there big mouth trap this morning. Good morning, everybody. We're going to make sure to keep this here live stream from being ad suitability. You know what I mean, Bird? To keep it true to her nature, Miss Sherry is up there running her mouth under that bar bridge like she always does. But hey, we're going to let it go this morning. We're not going to give in and let her have her 15 minutes of fame, if you know what I mean. We're just going to ignore her this time because uh, it's getting a little bit old, if you know what I mean, Byron. Good morning, Pro Max. How you doing this morning? Get me good. I bet you can get one good. I bet you can get one good, Cherry. Sorry about that. I fell into a little bit anyway. I let her cause me to say something, but at least I didn't say nothing. I didn't use no profanities, you know what I mean? Burn. She said I'm doing something to her. Oh, Lord, I did not know Sherry owned up in under the bridge. You know, she lives under the bridge. She's a bridge troll. That don't mean she owns down here where I'm sitting. I don't know why she thinks she owns this bridge. She is not the queen of the trolls. Hey, Sherry, she thinks she's the queen of the trolls. She thinks she owns this here bridge. She seems to think she owns right here where I'm sitting, but I've got news for her. She does not own this concrete. She does not own that bar bridge. She does not own that dark rock rider bicycle. And she does not own Eagle Nick Audits. You know what I mean, Burn. You hear what I'm saying? Said she's got me. She's got something for me. You know what? I don't want what she's got. She doesn't give it to everybody around. You know what I mean, Burn? Let her call her buddies with the po-po. Come on down. You know what I mean. I will be glad to explain to them what public property is. Good morning, but why? How you doing, my friend? Good morning, honest Abe. Good morning, no breeze.
Good morning, VB. Good morning, John Lee. How you doing, brother? We're up here under the Walnut Avenue Bridge in Dalton, Georgia, the carpet capital of the world. You know what I mean, Bird? Now, old Chef Ben, he took off like a rocket again because Sherry's up there running that there mouth. He's afraid she's going to call them their popo, but I say, come on down. You know what I mean, Bird? We welcome them their popo to come on down here. I'll be glad to put them on the live stream. Oh, that looks like somebody's come up here and jacked all that cat food. Now, that lady should be coming up to feed them here sometime. This here is what she feeds them in the can, friskies. But she puts out that darn dry food as well. There is one of the little baby kitty cats. We're going to try to make sure to keep this live stream from being ad suitability. We're not going to give in to that, our desire to throw back the same kind of words that Miss Sherry, the troll queen, is throwing at us. Now, all these boxes are empty, so... That lady must not have been up here. I hope she's all right, because she's usually got them full by now. Now, that no trespassing means inside that building there and stuff. This around the bridge here is called public access. It is a public right-of-way. That bridge is not privately owned, and neither is this roadway that goes under the bridge. That embankment way over across the other side of the bridge, the railroad does not own that. They own, they own on either side of the railroad tracks down where the gravels are and no farther. That little road that runs down by the railroad tracks where all them homeless people have tents set up is not owned by that our railroad. Good morning, Eagle, Nick. Oh, this, and I hear Miss Sherry, she's still up there running those old gappers 90 miles an hour. She might be talking to one of her buddies on the Dalton Police Department. You know, she is a big old snitch, but hey, you know what they say, snitches end up in ditches. You know what I mean, Vern? Let her call that there popo. Let them come on back by one more time. Maybe they'll stop and say something this time. Have a little bit more of a backbone. You know what I mean, Vern? Don't ride by here and say, you're to record that sign and learn what it means or learn what it says. They need to learn what the Constitution is and what it means. Learn what First Amendment protected activity means. You know what I mean, Vern? It's called protected for a reason. You know, I'm up here now because of all the police presence well, they've had up here yesterday. We're going to see if maybe they want to come back up here again today. See what they got to say. You know what I mean? John Lee, no live streaming, don't pay no bills. 
Hey, uh, Andy Jackson come riding up behind me, done scared the crap out of me. There she is. There's the lady here to feed them dark kitty cats. I knew she would be here for long. She always comes up to feed them dark kitties. Good morning, piece of garbage. How you doing this morning? I do not know where our buddy JD is or Pooh Noah for that matter. I believe old Mr. P Pooh Noah got mad at Eagle Nick audits yesterday because while I was sitting over here, there was another guy kept talking to me, kept saying Eagle Nick. But he was also talking to a gentleman that was laying back behind us asleep. And Mr. Pooh Noah got under the misconception that Eagle Nick Audis was being fed lines of what to say or what to do. Now, old Eagle Nick Audis does not have a script, nor do I follow commands. You know what I mean, Vern? I only record what I see and see what I record. For anybody who does not know a recording or a live stream, which is the equivalent to a recording because after the live stream ends, it processes and uploads to video format. That is a record, R-E-C-O-R-D, of everything I see and that is going on around me. You know what I mean, Vern? Good morning, Krisky Yant. How you doing this morning? Joshua. But why? Eagle Nick out. Oh, it likes all kind of pizza. You know what I mean, Burn? I still hear her up there running that mouth. I'm not looking nowhere near where she is, you know. We're looking this way. She's still running that there yapper. That yapper runs 90 miles an hour, 24 hours a day. I believe she even talks in her sleep. Somebody done dropped their bicycle off over here. I wonder if they snatched it somewhere. But we would be glad for anybody in that our Dalton Police Department. If y'all want to come on down, come on down. You know what I mean, Burn. We are here investigating. We are investigating the police presence that's been going on around here. Now that tent there is big enough they can see it from one of them there airplanes at 30,000 feet in the air. How did Miss New York not know that they was going to see it and run them all off? She had to know they would see it. I mean, I could see it from over there uptown. You could be standing on that other bridge up to where if you had a clear line of view, you would see that there tent. They probably can see it from that there International Space Station, if you know what I mean, Vern. Hey, everybody, please be sure to check out my YouTube channel. I actually cut a short off of Mr. Jim Barney's commercial, one of his commercials, Ernest P. Worrell, to let everybody know exactly who, you know what I mean, Vern? to let you know who it is so you can learn. Oh, Ernest P. Worrell was a super killer character created by Mr. Jim Varney. Now, he did the Ernest movies. Ernest goes to jail. Ernest goes to camp. Ernest saves Christmas. 
Ernest Family album and quite a few others. Brother, it don't really do nothing, but what if you really want to help Eagle Nick out, it's out. I need people to share, share, share my shorts and my videos and my past live streams. Sharing is caring. If you really want to help me out, the more shares I get, the better it is for my YouTube channel. The more people sees my videos and my shorts, the more subscribers I can pick up. Now, how Eagle Nick Audits gets paid is when people let them their ads play. You know what I mean, Vernon? Here comes old Andy again. We're not going to let him slip up behind us and scare us. This here's going to this here's going to be our first homeless president. Right. Remember, change the culture around politics, and you can make a real change. Forget about red versus blue. Forget about that. Forget about red, white versus red. Let's all try to work together. Let's make a new one. Let's make a purple party. You know, there you go. And just get something done. You know, pay it forward. Help your friends. You know, just pay somebody's grocery bill right there, register or something. You know, start with that. Then start attacking the problem with jobs. Get them to be less strict about hiring. I mean, come on, we all smoke weed. But, uh, I mean, it, it, who wouldn't smoke weed if they live like this? If, if, if Trump could live like this, he would be a pothead for sure. I think. No, he can just sell blocks probably. That's why he has to do all work. That's it. <laughs> How you I'm doing actually, this morning? I'm, I'm actually going to go and sit for a. Uh, go sit for him while he goes and gets the check and everything. Did you get you some breakfast? No, I missed breakfast. I got a little bit of money in my pocket. They didn't have no bowl sitting up in there? I didn't even go inside. I just got me something great. You should have went inside. They they had bowls lined up in there. How much I've ate? Just by being in this town. How much? All of it. We walked in Taco Bell, they gave us 12 tacos. Hey, that's cool. Nice. Said they walked into Taco Bell and they gave them 12 tacos. They well, does good stuff for you. They bring they even donate chicken over to uh, the Greater Works. They donate chicken to the Greater Works. They'll also yeah. Yeah. They yeah. Get number one water. Chick fil A. I had a receipt to show y'all that they'll do it. It's yeah. promo free. Uh, yeah, uh, Chef Ben said there's a place over there uh, called the Oyster Pub Oyster or something. Pub. Said they feed people too. Yeah, and they will keep them some good food. I mean, you can get like a mushroom Swiss burger and pick it up for two people. Yeah, that's what Ben was saying. Hey, Chef Ben was saying that. Thank you. What's it called? Oyster Pub? Oyster. It used to be the oyster It's pub. called the Oyster over there. Uh, it's at the Old Tanger Outlet Mall. Isn't it? Old Tanger Outlet Mall. It's the market street that if market. somebody can't afford food, they will give you something to eat there. They give you a great old big uh, mushroom burger. I'm sure you could get it without the mushrooms. Now, Miss Sherry is up there under the bridge for those of you who have asked where she's at. We're trying not to stare Miss Sherry up, but all we got to do is be here. You know what I mean? Uh, no, nah, we don't want to get her started. I'm, I'm trying to keep this here video from being out of suitability. Did you hear that? Change the culture behind the politics and we can actually make a change. That was Mr. Andy Andrew Jackson, the first homeless president of these United States of America. You know what I mean, Vern, but it's a lot of people likes to call it America. He was, he was asking me if I wanted them to stare Sherry up. You see, I told him no. I'm not trying to stare Sherry up. You know, Sherry was up there running them old yappers, and I was not even looking that way. Nope. Dalton, Georgia, the carpet capital of the world. Now, this lady comes down here and feeds these cats every day and makes sure they are properly fed. 
And I would say it started out from just one or two cats being dumped down here. Chef Ben went up there to that there Walmart, got us some milk, some stuff. Yeah, there is a 70% chance of scattered showers today. Look, there's one of them bridge chickens. You see that bridge chicken up there? Uh-oh, he flew off. Let's see if we can find some more. They're all around here. Look, check out these little bird nests. Well, it's getting blurry. Certain way I turn it, it gets blurry. At least that's somebody knocked them off right there. There goes some of them bridge chickens. Now, other people call them pigeons. I got a cousin named Rocky who calls them pigeons, but oh eagle Nick, oh, it just calls them them bar bridge chickens. You know what I mean, Vern? Now those two gentlemen are still laying there in between the third and the fourth pillar of sleeping. Miss Sherry is up there under the bridge if she don't start hollering again. Now, if y'all noticed, she will sit up there and holler and say all types of stuff, but she will not come down here. Now, she was on the other side of the bridge there, I was told this morning, but when she seen I was coming down here, she made sure she was on this side. Check out this little truck, it's a flying boy. To be on a railroad track, it is, anyway. Just keep right on a-going, buddy. There ain't no needing you stopping. There ain't no needing you stopping running that there yapper. There you go, just keep on a-trucking. You got that right, brother. That's what I told that there Dalton police officer, vehicle number 55, that that bar sign right here is unconstitutional because this right here is public property. This is public access. Now this here city ordinance and that there state law that they've got on that sign, that city ordinance and that state code violates the Constitution on the Constitution and people's constitutional rights. So let me tell you now, that sign is not constitutional. You let them try to arrest Eagle Nick Audits for loitering. You know what I mean, Byrne. There's little Smokey and Josh. How y'all doing? Hey, Smokey. Hey, Smokey, come here. Oh, here, I don't need it, brother. Ben just no, got us some. Come here. Hey, hey, hey Smokey. I got enough drinks last Oh, week. yeah, but Ben got us some, man. Y'all save them and they'll last longer. Stash them out somewhere, and then that way you'll have them when you need them. Hey, brother, what's your name? Eagle. 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 Deagle. I was going to say, is it Eagle? Did you say Eagle? Really, man, look here. You believe this crap now? You can't make that up. Eagle, me, Eagle, Nick. Oh, this. They hate, don't tell them your name is Eagle. If you get stopped by the popo, they'll say, Eagle, Nick, we're going to kill you. Oh, he said his name is Eagle. He better watch it. I'd change my name. If I was you, I'd say, yeah, my name's Mud. I wouldn't be telling them my name's Eagle. 
They already know this illegal, and they don't like me. You know what I mean, Byron? I don't need them. I appreciate it, though, but you want to see if Miss Sherry might need some of that stuff. It might. She might have something to stuff in that darn pie hole, and she won't talk so much. No, Josh said he wouldn't give Miss Sherry nothing, but they should. We should treat everybody the same, even even though they talk to you like you a dog. You know what I mean? Good morning, Mary, Trippy, Pisa, Sleeper, Roland, Julian, Becca. Good morning, Fred Hinkle from them dark cornfields of southern Indiana, Pisa Garbage. Grateful. John Lee, Al, Pal. And anybody else I may have missed. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everyone doing today? Good morning, Demas. How you doing? Great to see you again, my friend. Unconvicted Justice, good morning. Well, I heard a car coming, but it ain't no popo. You know what I mean, Burn. There was, there was somebody said that uh, they got brandy down there. Now my doggone ears getting all stopped up where I can't hear. There's our little buddy Smokey. What you got, Smokey? Oh, Smokey's got him one of them there bones. You know what I mean? B O N Z. Always take care of him first, man. Yep, you heard that. Josh said he always takes care of Smokey first. Now, that is what old Eagle Nick Audits does about all his cats. I make sure they get fed. You know what I mean? Because our animals can't go out nowhere to get them that deep. They depend on us. Now, there is a lot of people who do not have anybody that they can depend on. There is a lot of people that goes hungry because they will not ask anybody for help. They will not panhandle. They would rather starve to death than to have to ask somebody for help. That is why you should never just pass somebody by. You should never turn a deaf ear or a blind eye because you never know when it could end up being you. Someone you love, you know what I mean, Byron? And I heard one of them bar trains coming. I don't know if it's headed north or south. I heard that bar horn blow off in the distance. My left ear is stopped all the way up to where I can't hear out of it, so I couldn't really tell which way it's coming from. Good morning, Eagle Nick. Oh, this, this ain't the Game of Thrones. You know what I mean, Vern? It's all Eagle Nick. They ain't nothing fake. There ain't no trick. That's just the way I talk and the way I walk. You know what I mean, Vern? Now, I don't actually walk unless I'm walking right now because I ride that there rock rider bicycle.
But I heard one of them there trains, but I don't know where it went. Now I'll show you what that lady does. She has left. She fills up these things for cat food for all these cats up here. And I've counted at least six or seven of them. There's probably a bunch you do not see. Now, like I was saying, this is the high dollar cat food. This is that Friskies. She fills up the boxes with the dry food, but she also puts out them cans of that Friskies cat food as well. Now, here's two boxes with four cans of cat food, the canned food. You see she changed that water. She makes sure these poor little cats has food and water, you know what I mean. Very, very kind lady. Her husband feeds all of the bridge chickens. Now, other people call them pigeons. My cousin Rocky calls them pigeons. But old Eagle Nick, out oh, it's just calls them them bar bridge chickens, if you know what I mean. Now you'll see that little black cat over there eating some of that there canned food. I was going to go over and show you them two boxes over there with the food in it, but we're not going to go over there because we don't want to scare them little cats off from their food. No, Lady A, it is not mostly rats eating it. I beg to differ. What you call that, ma'am? I bet I know what the A in Lady A stands for. You know what I mean, Vern? I don't think you're very much of a lady to say she needs to stop. Look at that black rat right there. Oh, wait, that happens to be a cat. You know what I mean, Vern? I guess you, you're halfway blind or something. You don't know the difference between a rat and a cat. It's a lot more than one letter. You don't just trade the R for a C, you know. There's a big difference between a rat and a cat. A cat will kill a rat. You know what I mean, Vern? Good morning, Dupree, Eagle, Nick, Otis. We got somebody come walking at the railroad track. How would you like to carry that heavy load on your back? That would have to be heavy. Look like you even had him a rod and reel to do a little fishing. Good morning, Kumar. How you doing? Great to see you. Good morning, afternoon or evening. Good morning, trunk monkey. Get out of that our trunk, trunk monkey. You're starting to smell a little funky. You know what I mean, Vern? Tell him old Eagle Nick said to let you ride in the back seat, trunk monkey. You spent enough time in that there trunk. You know what I mean, Vern? Eat your salad already. You know what I mean, Vern? Huh? Who? Oh. Uh, Wow. Well, I heard another car coming. This is the woman that got me and her band from up here. Says she wants to ride by. Uh, no, I, hold on. Hey, anybody got the time? I'm live right now. Hold on, there'll be somebody tell me. What time is it in the Eastern Standard Time Zone?
No, it's way past 7.30 because I've been on here for 35 minutes. It's probably getting close to 8 o'clock. But that is the woman that got me and her band from up here. She's all nice now wanting to know if I know what time it is. But old Eagle Nick Audits does not hold grudges. See, all I was trying to do was to ensure that they would be somebody else get one of them their sweets that morning. And because she got two when we were only allowed to get one, Eagle Nick did not get one to make sure that one other person in the back of that line that would have otherwise missed out because she was going to get two would actually still get one. Now, they was still over 20 people in the line that would not get anything because there just was not enough to go around. Eight oh five in Georgia. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that there ten thirty six. I'll keep an eye on it for you. Come here, Moki. Sit down, baby. They ain't going nowhere. Come here, it's okay, Bubba. Your day, you be right back. We're going to keep an eye on Smokey for him. Come here, baby. It's okay. Your daddy will be right back, son. He's not leaving you. Your daddy not weavy. He coming right back. Look how Smokey's watching, boy. Now, that dog loves Josh. Now, that little dog loves his daddy, Josh. Josh takes care of him. Looks like she's waving at us. She can come up here if she wants to. Maybe she's saying, hands up, don't shoot. I don't know. But old Miss Sherry's up there under the bridge. She finally quit saying anything. We're down here keeping an eye on little Smokey for Josh till he gets back. Smokey's a good little boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. Your daddy will be back in a minute, son. He didn't leave you. Eagle Nick does not have any girlfriends. I am married, but my wife is deceased. Now I'm going to set the phone down for just a minute while I get me out a cigarette. I'm going to let everybody watch Smokey for a minute. Okay, Hokey, your daddy will be back in a minute, son. There he is. Look, Josh is back. Got another baby with him. What's this his name? Well, Daryl named her Miss Beautiful Onyx. Miss Beautiful Onyx. 
She's a pretty little girl. Sweetheart, that big dog over there is running over. Really? I seen that dog running around in a circle over there. This here is Miss Beautiful Onyx. Yep, it's okay, baby. Smokey, now you don't be mean now. Be nice. Smokey's like, what you talking about? I like girl dogs. Be nice, sit down. Sit That's down. a good girl. <laughs> there was a big old dog down there chasing her. Come here, darling. Come here, girly. Come here. That's a good girl. Sweet dog. Sweet dog. That's a good girl. Yes, how's a good baby? Yes. How's a good baby? There you go. That baby's a good baby. Yes, you are. Yes. You're a good darling. Yes, I love you. You're a good girl. Yes, you are. That baby's a good girl. There I feel about it. She's eating her some of that bone now. Yeah, that dog wasn't terrified of Josh or me. That dog would have been getting chased down there by a great big dog and it just had it scared. My wife passed away in 2019. Yep, she was overdosed by Hamilton Medical Center on fentanyl. Come here, girl. Does that look like she's scared to y'all? Come here, girly. That dog is not scared. She's not terrified. Now, she was when she first come up here, but that's because that big old dog had been down there chasing her. Now, I got to be real careful. You look, you see my hand right there? See that big old bruise? My skin gets cut and bruised real easy. She's got sharp claws. If she touches my arm, she can cause me to start bleeding with her toenails. I've got skin real thin like my mama had before she passed away. Now, my mother was 89 when she passed away. You know, Eagle Nick Audis is only 57 but I have already noticed that my skin is getting real thin. Eat your salad. That baby ain't terrified. She was just scared because that dog had been chasing her. Check that out. You don't see that tail between that. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here, darling. Come here. Onyx, come here, girl. Come here, baby. Don't take off. Come here. Don't take off, baby. I gotta get a Come on, baby. Come on, let's go back over here. Come on, let's go back over here, darling. You come over here and eat this bone. Here. Sit right here and get some of this bone up here. Is he on that bone? Yeah. Yeah, we need to figure out how to get her a lease. No, I did not say that. I did not say that I have not had sex since 2019. But the last lady that I was with, it has been nearly a year ago or maybe a little longer now. That is because I have not seen her in that long and I don't just have sex with anybody. You know what I mean, Byrne? Eagle Nick has morals.
a wedding ring is not about sex, Prakish. Prakash, rather, I'm sorry. Prakash Mina. Now here comes Miss Beautiful Oinix. Daddy, right now, this is our buddy Daryl. Now he's the one who owns this pretty little girl. You see, that baby loves daddy. That baby loves daddy, Daryl. Now that baby about got me right there. You see it about cut my skin. That was just barely touching me with them claws. If them claws had went into me, it would have tore me open right there. And it's about right on that dark blood vessel. Look at that. And if you got that blood vessel, I'd have been bleeding like a stuck hog. Good morning, Bunny. There we go. Maybe it'll clear up here in a minute. I don't know why it got so blurry. Nope, we are in Dalton, Georgia, the carpet capital of the world. We are under the Walnut Avenue Bridge. Right here by the railroad tracks. You know what I mean, Vern. Everybody be sure to hit that dar subscribe if you haven't already done so. No, sir, I'm not a drug addict or a drug addicted. Eagle Nick Aldis is here visiting with my homeless friends. Now, I eat breakfast here at Providence Ministries this morning. But no, Eagle Nick is not a drug addict, and I am not homeless. But I have many homeless friends because I, am, I consider myself a friend to all. Now, it does not matter the color of their skin or the financial situation they happen to be in. You know what I mean, Byrne? We are called to love our fellow man. Every one of them can't pick and choose. Yeah, Eagle Nick, oh, I would just like to tell you, you would be a lot better off to go pick you up a nice lady in a bar or somewhere than to be messing with them there hookers, because you better realize this, one of them thar hookers might put something on you that Ajax won't take off. You know what I mean, Byrne? Good morning, Brazil kid. Hillbillies, Georgia's home of them there. Hillbillies, not just squid billies. Yep, listen, y'all listen to this. I'm a hillbilly. Billy. My dad was raised in Harlan County, Kentucky. Harlan County, Hazard. Kentucky. Hazard County. Hazard County. Oh, yeah. Good roughneck. My grandfather worked in mines for 23 years until he had black man had to cut a hole in his trinket, and then he died. Um, I never met him, but I had a dream about it, and I described it. I never met my grandfather. Like I said, I described my wife in this room. There's a hospital bed, a window, and there's an old wooden trunk. Oh, he tried to talk to me, but I didn't understand. Mommy says, hey, sexy. Hey, hey, Mr. Joyce said, hey there, lady. He appreciates that there, hey, sexy. Uh, 
Josh is a good old fella, I'm telling you. And this look, this is Josh's little dog, Smokey. Hey, Momo. Hey, Momo. Mo. This is Josh's little dog, Smokey. And this is our friend, not Daryl, but I still call him Daryl anyway, and his little beautiful dog, Miss Beautiful Onyx. 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 Yeah. Hey, Eagle Nick says it how he wants to. I don't conform to the norm. You know what I mean, Burn? Miss Beautiful Onyx. Sometimes I forget and I can't help it and I'll say it wrong anyway. Now, sometimes I say it wrong on purpose. You know what I mean, Burn? Yeah, man, look. We're working on bikes all night, man. So I got my, well, my ex bike fixed. Um, still paint my ass, she is. No love, still love her, but still paint. Yes, sir. Miss Sherry is up there under no, Light no, Bar no. Bridge, and we don't want her to come down here. She's already been sending her voice down here. Luckily, it didn't pick it up because a lot of profanity and YouTube will place that there ad suitability on my video, my live stream, and we don't want that. Yeah. So holler at me. Might as well down there. Paint sound I couldn't really hear. Um, case, man. Oh, you you said a mile full there. I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody doesn't figure that out by now. Yeah, but they don't have to live here. Live yeah, that is good. the Dalton Carpet Finishing Company. Yes, that is the old Dalton Carpet Finishing Company building. That has been shut down for quite quite a few years. It turned out to be uh, who bought it was the Adback. Like they're off fruit bin. They bought it. And uh they're kicking everybody out over. Good morning, Leon Musk. Leon. How you doing this morning? You know what I mean, Vern? Yeah. What are we gonna do, man? Uh, Here's I'd go over put that chain on. Yeah, we're gonna wait here all day. The them there bridge chickens is waiting on that, that guy to come throw them out some of that there corn. Okay, Josh, did that fella ever come pay y'all? Not yet. He just now called me saying pay the shit. What's his name? Well, we're not going to put his name out here on the live stream, but if, if he was to happen to be watching, he needs to come pay Mr. Josh and Mr. Not Daryl. You know, they worked with the gentleman. He said he would pay them not until the job was finished. The job is finished, and I'm sure that he has done received his money. Now, you know, I'm pretty sure they need their money a whole lot more than he needed his. You know what I mean, Byrne? Yeah, you're right. There's a lot of things I could uh, use that money on. Back a dollar for my dog. You know, but... Gonna do what I do at night. I can find dog bones and things like that. Drinks and uh, just make sure my dog and their dog and everybody's dog around there has something to eat. Yes, sir. I mean, he eats before I do. Oh, he eats more than I do. All my lunch over here, most of it. Uh, dinner and breakfast. I ain't eat none of my breakfast. I let him have it. He's more important. We are in Dalton, Georgia, in, Uni in the United States of America. You know what I mean, Byrne? Dalton, Georgia. This is our friend, not Daryl. And this is our friend, Mr. Joshua, and his dog, Smokey, and not Daryl's dog, Big... Uh, What's her name again? Miss Beautiful Onyx. Miss Beautiful Onyx. It's an unusual name, but I started to call I started to call her Big Beautiful. <laughs> Miss Beautiful Onyx. This is Smokey. That is not Daryl. And this is Joshua. Look. Look at that. Look at that. Josh. <laughs> yep. Yeah, man. That dog right there is more calm right now than it was last night. Your dog. 
No, Dalton, Illinois. D-O-L-T-O-N. That is where that Miss Tiffany Hinyard, or however you say it, is having all that trouble to mare. Dalton, Georgia. Yeah, this is Dalton, D-A-L-T-O-N. I know O Eagle Nick might sound like I'm saying Dalton, but I'm actually saying Dalton, D-A-L-T-O-N, and it is the state of Georgia. We lo- I call it Georgia because I, I am just an old hillbilly. I just wonder, man, if they're going to run us off again. Uh, last night we had on how many police officers and fire trucks. Somebody over here blew up a, a, a tank, gas tank or something yesterday. Even Daryl seen it from where he was at. There's black smoke going up in there. Uh, they got one person, but they didn't get the other one. Which I ain't going to say no, no names. I ain't like that, but I'm going to say he'll come back and get him. Bomb him in the butt. That's what I say about that. One empty a chamber. Eagle Nick Audis is not homeless. Now, I'm homeless and I am at home. I am an independent journalist. I am a constitutionalist. I believe in spreading Fairness by awareness, if you know what I mean, Byrne. If you don't, look it up. A lot of people don't have uh, enough common knowledge to do or do anything. I really the only thing I do is make stuff worse. Like like over at Subway, we used to sit there and all day and charge our phones, Wi-Fi. Now somebody messes up, one person messes it up, and you're done. Josh, uh, Josh, mean I want to know if you have a girlfriend. I don't. He's had quite a few gals running around with him. No, don't let him lie to you. Hey, I want to tell you what, he has to beat them off with a stick, if you know what I mean, Vern. No, I don't have a girlfriend, but uh, I need one to put me in line, I guess. Keep me uh, from doing something dumb. Hello, Spain. How you doing? Low cost. Spain. Be glad that you're not in the United States of America, because old Joe Biden, they ain't nothing that's cheap around here except for Miss Sherry up here under the bridge. You know what I mean, Byron? That's another thing. Joe Biden ain't the smartest person in the world. Man, I'd rather had uh, uh, the Clinton, Miss Clinton in there beside Joe Biden. No, brother, we don't want that there basket of deplorables, woman. You know, she said that people who wanted to make America great again is nothing but a basket of deplorables. Well, I want to know what is so bad about wanting to make America a great country again like it used to be. Well, if you do that, then, you know, well, one thing, the taxes, they can't make taxes no no, uh, what do you call that? 7% right now on everything. So they can't make it no cheaper. It's just like medicine. If um, they ain't gonna shut no medicine place down, because it's a multi billion dollar industry. Yep. It's like they ain't gonna stop people from drinking or smoking cigarettes. And that's the way I feel, man. They ain't gonna stop none of that. So things are killing us the most instead of legalizing. Marijuana, that's good for you. Yep. They make it where you can't do that. And it's hard to uh, get something that's going to help you stop seizures and things like that. Uh, uh, legalized. Georgia would be probably the last one to do it. And there has been people that has saved their life and made the seizures shorter and less a day. Some of them had like 15 seizures a day. Then when they started smoking that medical marijuana, it went from like 15 to 10 to maybe having like two or three. Yep. And they should, man. I mean, it's legalized. It ain't nothing wrong. It's a plant. It's, it's not a man-made uh, chemical. Chemical or it ain't made by man. It's a plant. Yep. And it was actually on uh, uh, in the doctor's uh, thing in like 18... 
hundreds. I don't know what exact date, but it was a medicine. And then they found out what it was doing, and the government couldn't figure out how to tax it. So that's why they legalized, delegalized it where you can't get it. But I wish they would, man. It makes people a lot better. A lot better people, a lot better citizens out here. They wouldn't be doing this dumb stuff. Yeah. I mean, some of these people get on this other stuff, man. They, they're out of this world. That's some stuff, man, still from their own parents. Yes, ma'am, Tasha. I've been up into Kentucky. Used to go into Kentucky through oh night of Tennessee. I used to go up going into Illinois to Kentucky. Now, Josh said he is from Kentucky. No, my dad is. Oh, his dad is from Kentucky. What part? Uh, Harlan. Harlan, Kentucky. Hazard County. Hazard County. Yeah, um, I'm from Sydney, Ohio, Shelby County. Sydney, Ohio. Shelby County. Just a little small town at Chatsworth, Georgia. You just blink an eye, man, you're, you're through it. I mean, it's just a little small county, man. I'm, I'm Somebody knew. Yeah, keep an eye on Yeah, that's one guy that I don't know who it is. Could be somebody trying to get famous. He might break out a cap. Yeah. He's probably going to go up there and go up the top right there. Definitely looks like a gangbanger. Looks like something. I don't know. I don't turn my back on nobody out here, man. Yep. You got to watch him. There's been people out here, man, be hit with machetes, on top of skull or something stupid that somebody started. Uh, and then the conflict goes from there and makes it worse. Then dude, uh, we we'll see the same guy that got hit by the machete. Uh, he lived, he did live, but he had a gash right here, about that far, and no one right here. But it wasn't meant for him. It was meant for. Hello, Red Dog. We got Red Dog from Eastern Kentucky. Miss Tasha said she is in uh, Floyd County, Kentucky. I heard Floyd, I haven't been through it, but... Hello, Jeremy from Bainbridge, Georgia. Bainbridge? I think I've been through there once or twice. Good morning, subliminal criminal. Don't be so subliminal. We are not in Kentucky right now. We're in Dalton, Georgia, but we was talking about that there. Floyd... Yeah, man, I mean... I was, Hello, Troy, Ohio. Hello, Tennessee. Man, I wish things would be different, man, up here. It used to be a lot different about 10 years ago. There wasn't that many people out here that, that you would steal from you, especially the homeless. Yep. And uh, I'm trying to get out of the homeless situation, but with my, my mentality of what happened with me and my ex... It kind of made me almost go nuts. Um, I just snap out of it. I snapped out of it because this guy right here, my dog, man. Come here, Momo. It's my little dog, bear, man. Look, are them bridge chickens coming up here? It's my little smoke. Been my buddy for two and a half years. He's been uh, my emotional companion, my support. Sometimes he gets on my nerves. But he knows he loves daddy. He knows I take care of him. I get mad and I get aggravated just like he does. He has feelings. And I don't treat him like a dog, I treat him like a person. Cause he's like, he's my boy. He ain't no dog. I don't treat him like I talk to him like a human. You're out of smoke. Huh? What baby? What's the matter? You love daddy? Oh. Look <laughs> yeah. hey, He loves his daddy, don't you, baby? You know he do. He's my buddy. When I got him, he was about nearly dead. He was, um, I rescued him from a, I guess he called a friend of hers, but four of them. He was the only one I asked, I said, which one come, want to come home with me? He stood straight up on his back legs. I said, I'll take him. His uh, ribs were so bad showing that I felt shame. And I didn't do it. Yeah. But I got him, it took me a minute, I had to get him back up again to where he wasn't so pitiful looking and skin and bone. It took me a while. But he he uh he got out of that too and, and he's my best friend, man. 
Yeah, he's been through a lot. People let him go. Uh, about three times people took him from me. They tried to torture him. And uh, he's been through. Good morning. But he's been through too much. And he shouldn't have to go through that. Oh, hey, baby. I've got one of them cigars. Little shy, little shy and cigars. Uh, look at my mom, y'all. Look at him. Let me grab this lady a, one of them little Cheyenne cigars. I'm going to set the phone down for a minute. Hey, baby, what you doing, darling, huh? I got to set the phone down a minute so I can get in this bag. Eat your salad. This is work, brother. If you don't understand that, then the door opens up the same way going out as it does coming in. You know what I mean, Byron? said uh, yesterday when they had four officers over here, they said uh, the girls on the oxygen and one the red tent said they told her to put that tent over there and now they're telling her not to put that tent there. So the controversy of that is what she took, she took that ticket yesterday just to prove a point and got the lieutenant over here. At the, uh, I guess that's one over the day shift. And he's a big guy. He's a big guy. No, this is a young black guy. No, not this dude. Big guy behind the tent. Oh, this is a young black guy. Yeah. Uh, he was hard enough to be in the sixty-nine. Say it again. Huh? Say it again. Uh, he was car number sixty-nine. Come up here three times yesterday. Okay. Once by himself. Same like where he literally we can't read that sign over. And you were there, and it up, and it made us move. Uh, they left, you come back, sit down over here, there ain't no sign, and um, two of them come back. One pulled down there, one stopped here. About three hours later, here comes four of them, right here. One here, three down here. Just to harass the homeless, just to harass the people that are disabled. And, um, she can't help it that she's on oxygen, but I think it's kind of ridiculous that they have to mess with us like that. He said, I'm sorry, you're on oxygen, but it's not his problem. So, the officers up here are like, no. no. The officers up here in Dalton, Georgia, don't care uh, if you're sick, if you're homeless, if you're dying. They don't care. They don't care about our safety. They don't care about nothing. You know, like I said, you can be dying right here. That's not their problem. What they said mainly, not their problem. So if I'm sitting here dying on oxygen, they want me to hurry up the best I can and food. You can't do that. I mean, people got disabilities, and some of them can't get up like that. Uh, 
by me. You want to know, see, you see a young man right here, 34 next month. That's a bit. You will be able to see them, but I've messed up with spinal stenosis since 19, 1997. When I hit my back on a piece of metal, I wasn't clean. There's been a bacteria in my spine along with fluid build up, and the bacteria is attacking my nervous system. They say uh, one day I could be in a wheelchair. I've been stage three out of four, and I think I'm doing pretty good. Most people don't make it. As far as I did. And I got a lot going on. I try to, like I said, do some of the dogs, do some of the people that uh, do good for me. And uh, I want to be done, man. Be done right. Don't, don't look at me like I ain't getting no check. I, I could have. But when I see it, I didn't want to take away from somebody else. And if I got that check, if I could take it away from this next man that really needed that money. So now I'm 34, I might actually have to have that because uh, my back's back all we hurt. I got back from a 50 year old man, they said. But I still keep moving, still keep going. And that's all I can do. You know, sometimes, man, it hurts so bad that I, I, this morning I actually spit up blood this morning. And that ain't good. Sometimes, man, uh, when I have my bowel movements, it, uh, it's all blood. It's not nothing else. So it's a serious thing. Yeah. It's kind of a rare, um, a rare, not disease, but it's a rare uh, back problem, I'm going to say. I don't know, man. But I have to move day by day, man. Some days I move slower than others, but just because I look young don't mean I don't have disability. Yes, sir. I just don't want to take away from somebody else that really, really needs it. Just because they say I'll be in a wheelchair don't mean I'm going to end up in a wheelchair. That's all in my mind. They can tell you that. They told uh, one of my buddies that he was going to have six months to live, and he lived another 13, 14 years. They told my daddy he was supposed to die. He had a uh, um, heart attack in the wheel chamber of his heart. They said he wasn't supposed to make it off that table, but he lived 2003 to 2014 with that that heart condition. And uh, uh, so whatever doctors tell you, don't believe it. Because sometimes they just try to scare people. And when you get scared, it's like that COVID. You start thinking, I'm sick, I'm sick. You're eventually you're going to get sick. Yep. Uh, that's how I was always told, man. It's just mind over matter. So I ain't going to think of myself being in a wheelchair. Uh, I'm just going to try to move on, try to live my life. If it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. But I'm hoping it don't. You know, I'm thinking my mind, it won't. Man, mind over matter. Yes, sir. You know, I got to, I just try to live, man. I got to live for him and... Even that one right there, my ex just I had to live for her and make sure she's all right. She's safe and nobody's messing with her. And it's just how I am. I just try to be a kind soul. Sometimes it's kind of hard to be a peacekeeper, man, when all this stuff right here is going on. And you got uh, this one hollering and that one hollering, this one here. And too much controversy. Too much, um, how would you say it, uh, Mick? Uh, aggravation and uh, it's just a bunch of bull, really. Yeah. And it gets to you sometimes, and like it, like it would anybody else. Too much instigation. Yeah, instigation. Trying to go. start trouble. Yeah. There's a bunch of people that get so bored out here, that's what they do. Yeah. They just start trouble just to have something to do. I don't do that. I just do, I, I do for people, man, and they, don't, they might not do for me. I can say about I do for them. Anytime. Hey, that's what I always say. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Yes. Or how you would have them to treat people you know, love, or care about. Yep. We're not supposed to treat them the way they treat us, but the way we would want to be treated. We are supposed to love each other it does not matter the color of the skin no. 
or the financial situation they might be in. Now that is Miss Beautiful Onyx. And this here is Little Smokey. And them there's them thar bridge chickens. Now some people call them pigeons. But old Eagle Nick calls them bridge chickens because they like to live up here under the bridge. When I was younger, I raised, we had like about 150 of them. We got out of a barn, an old barn. Yeah. And they was going to tear it down, so we got all the pigeons, put them in a cage about six months, let them stay there so they know, feed them, that's where they're home. Yeah, goes. they become homing pigeons. You can open up the cage and let them all go out once, yep. fly up. Yep called tumbler they get about yep. that far from the ground and they swoop back up in a group yeah yeah it was cool man i mean i had some experience a lot of people had experience like that and we had we had fannies we had uh rod reds i raised ducks chickens it didn't matter that baby's after it bread chickens give me one of them bar bread chickens <laughs> Scooby! Scooby Dooby Doo! Hey, boy. I know. Yeah, he's trying to say, come here, man, chicken. Look at it. He's like, look at it. He's like, I'm just trying to play with y'all. Quit flying. Come what do you know what I mean, Burn? Come here, Scooby Doo. All right, you lay that little part down. What's that? I don't know. Yeah, you got a hole in it. Oh, look at it. That's weird. Hey, I'm gonna bring y'all some good jugs. I got some good ju jugs at the house. I will bring y'all some fresh jugs up here. Right. Yeah, man, I mean, we just try to make the best of our day. Sometimes it's better than the others, but like I said, we got good days and bad days. And it was a good day yesterday, good day last night. And it's time to make today even better than yesterday. Yes, sir. You gotta live, man. You can't dwell on dwell on the past and the things that you had. If that was the past and that was the, the actual thing, I'd be dwelling on I lost about eighty thousand dollars worth of property. I lost about four vehicles. I lost three places paid for. And I ain't gonna dwell on that. There ain't no sense in dwelling on it. Cause I ain't gonna never get that back, but I can always come over and try to get that again. Work forward to it, you know. Look, little smoke, he's getting some water. Momo. Momo getting the water. Man, he drinks so much water, Look man. If I don't dwell on what happened, how I got here. I'm just trying to look forward, like I said, for a better tomorrow. Try to make the day pretty good too. Try to look a better day. You got to have that gumption to get up and try to do something. Because I could sit there all day and cry about what I lost. I ain't going to bring nothing back. I can't get it back. Just possessions, man. I can always get a truck back, car back, or a house, whatever, man. I mean, it's just Look, you know, this is a joke, everybody, before I say it. So nobody don't get offended. You know how you know how you get your house back, your car back, all that back? You play that our country music backwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, roll that country music backwards, then you get your house back, your car back, your wife back. You know what I mean, Burn. But some of them things I don't want back. It brings back too many memories. Yeah, you know, that was my dad's house. Hold on. Look, there goes the feds. They're flying over there in that big old silver airplane. They're spying on Eagle Nick and Josh and not Daryl and Smokey. And... Yeah, they do that, man. That's all they can do around right here. They, like I said, uh, police officers, all they want to do in Dalton, Georgia, is just mess with the homeless. And uh, if you carry a bag and you sit somewhere like this, not bothering nobody. Not robbing nobody, not stealing, just sitting here with the dog, man. They make you move or give you a citation of a $500. Look, that's what I've been trying to let all the homeless people know. Georgia does not have a stop and ID law for pedestrians unless they see you committing a crime. You do not have to answer any questions and you do not have to show them ID. No, you do not. 
That's even if you're in a car and you're not homeless. You don't have to hand them your ID. You don't have to hand That them. is right. Even if you are in a vehicle and there is a traffic stop, they are only allowed to ask for ID from the driver. Yep. Now, a passenger or multiple passengers in that vehicle does not have to answer any questions or show any ID unless they see them committing a crime. That's true. Now, if they ask you for your ID you don't have to and you are though. driving, you do not have to hand it to them. You have your window cracked just a little bit. You got all your doors locked. You place your driver's license up against your window. Yep. If it is dark, tell them to shine a damn flashlight on it and read it because once they touch your driver's license, yep. that is a seizure. Yeah. Once they have it in their hands, that is called a seizure. Yep, and that's why they carry that little notebook around. So they take your ID, if you do hand it to them, take it back there and type it in, but that's what that notebook's for. That's right. As a, you, know, you don't have to get a registration either. They have to do their job and actually write it down. They have no right to touch your ID or your registration papers. Eagle Nick Aldis is a constitutionalist. I believe in the United States Constitution, the red, white, and the blue. You know what I mean, Byrne? Yeah, man, I mean, it's true. I am not Antifa. It's true, though, man. You got to know your rights. And there's a lot of people out here who don't know the rights. Clever name. You ought to look into getting one because clever name ain't all that clever. Go get back on that short bus and head on back to school, fool. You know what I mean, Byrne? If you don't know your rights, they can uh, do whatever they want. You got to know your rights. If you don't know your rights, then they can do whatever. That's right, I, Josh. I know, I know my rights. Even when I'm a citizen right here, I know my rights. I never handle my ID and they stop me out here on the street, ever. I just tell them I don't have one. And if I do, they can't search me or get me for uh, lying to an officer. That's my personal identification. It's nothing to do with them. They don't have to touch it. You just give them their name. And most, whatever they ask for right there, that's what that pad's for. They stopped me on how many times out here in the last three months just harassing. I'll be sitting right here, sitting over there, sitting somewhere, and they come up and ask me why I'm doing that. It's none of their business. I ain't doing nothing wrong. I'm just sitting there. I got permission from people at the subway to sit there. They, and uh, one time they done something like that. And uh, the manager of subway over here called law and said me and my ex were out there passing a joint around, which was really a rolled cigarette. They searched my bag, they searched her bag, and about put me under arrest for a hearsay. We didn't have nothing illegal. I mean, we were poor. I mean, we lived down the streets, we lived in a tent, and uh, they wanted to just harass people that's living out here. It's just how it is, man. Even up in uh, LJ, there's one old dude, like, he's like a 60 year old, just walking up the street, not having a book bag or nothing. Yeah. He's a known uh, homeless person, and. Uh, now, L.J. is Gilmer County. And then East L.J., they arrested that man. Three police officers sitting right there harassing that man, and I never seen that man again. If you don't have a, um, uh, what's that called, a, uh, a family member that is biologically your family, yeah, you will not get out of there. $500 fine, $50 a day until you have a family member come get you. Not a friend, not no. Now, see, that is violating somebody's constitutional rights right there because they have to charge you or whatever within 72 hours. That is habeas corpus, the right to a fire, fast, and speedy trial. To be at least charged, they cannot hold you just indefinitely. Nope. 
But that is why there is too many people that does not know about that. If those people don't have anybody to stand up for them, they get away with it. They do that to keep them in jail so they can have them clean up their jail or clean up their bathrooms or whatever. Yeah, see, they do that because they all are about money. They put people on probation over some of the dumbest stuff just because they want uh, the money. I had Walker County when I was on probation in 2008, 2009. I um, was leaving this person's house and a driver smoked some weed and I was a passenger. Well, I got charged with the same thing the driver did. Yeah. And I had a little piece of paper smell out weed. It wasn't even weed. They charged me a $1,600 fine uh four month probation but we called up there trying to get transferred back down here to uh, murray county when i did live in murray county and uh they said they didn't care as long as they got the money yeah that's all it is that's it's it. a money racket it's a money racket they just want that money it's an almighty dollar and i don't what's the point it's a piece of paper backed by a federal note it's not even backed by gold no more yeah or silver just a piece of paper saying it's like the IOU to the IRS. That's all it is. That's it. And that's all they want. They harassed me and him yesterday, and another lady was on oxygen, like I said, and she can't move us. Look, y'all see that gentleman walking there? I guarantee the police will not stop him and say nothing to him because they are afraid of that their Mexican mafia. Yeah. You know what I mean, Vern? I guarantee the Dalton Police Department, they're heart pumps kool-aid and they wouldn't stop that there little gentleman going right yonder but you let it be a homeless person yep. whether they be white or whether they be black and they will pull them over and try to run a stick up your ass you know what i mean burn to try to say you got something to hit out one time, uh, but now them people that might be with them, their mafias, they won't mess with them because they know better. They don't mess with them, but one time uh, I was coming back from Subway, I was telling you this another time, uh, we were walking back, and between these two houses back here, Cox's houses, um, they forced me to the ground and called me a terrorist and, and see if I had a bomb in my bag. And it wasn't me. See, he turned back around and stopped there for a minute like he's looking at me. Yeah. Yeah, that's just how they do. But yeah, they harassed me, called me a terrorist because I was a homeless man, had a big beard. My beard, and I didn't have nothing on me. They let me go. You know what I mean, Byrne? It's all um, how they think. Like, homeless people, not bad people. We just had hard times. And uh, some of us trying to get out of it, like me and not Daryl there. Um, we don't like it. I don't like it. I don't enjoy it. I didn't choose to be homeless. Um, it wasn't by choice. Uh, but I will pull myself out of this. I will. And I, it's going to be a matter of time until I do. I just need somewhere to keep my dog. That's it. Somebody I know I can trust that won't hurt my dog and uh, kick him and abuse him. Because, like I said, he was my main support. And uh, his dog here don't deserve um, being beat on and tortured like they did. They let him go and all that before. Uh, he don't deserve that. Yes, sir. He's just like a baby. You wouldn't hit a baby, you wouldn't kick a baby. Same thing. This is my baby out here. My baby boy, come here, come on. It's all right, Moki. It's all right, buddy. I know he's cold. Yeah, it's okay, mama. It's okay, you can sleep daddy, baby. See, he, he depends on me. He depends on me to feed him, and just like a baby, they depend on you to feed him. They just don't feed themselves. Especially when they've been baby like I baby this one. Like I said, Thank you, Reb Adventures, for all the best. I wish you all a blessed day. And like I said, he depends on me. And I depend on him, man. He's my buddy. I depend on him to wake me up when somebody's coming out. He does. Yep. 
Yep. He tells me good people from bad people. No, Miss Jennifer Lawrence, I'm not homeless, but Mr. Josh is. Yes, I am. Eagle uh, Nick Aldis is not homeless, but I am homeless, and I am actually at home. You know what I mean, Vern? Yeah, and, you know, like I said, some people, they choose to be out here. They get checks, and they choose to be out here on the street. I don't. If I had a check, like I said, I'd have me an apartment, I'd have me a place for my dog. But it's hard for me to get a check because it's hard for me to get all my information that I need to do that. Yeah. So in Georgia, uh, mine, well, they threw all of them, uh, what's that, uh, all my records and all them other records in the archives in the basement, the actual paper archives, they threw them away. They got caught, thrown them away in the landfill. So one of them, it's probably mine. They can't give me no information on uh, none of my none of that so it's gonna be harder for me to get mine because i can't get all my medical information yes sir it's hard man but somebody that has money a lot of money they can get what they want i can't i'm out here day by day trying to survive it's now eagle nick would like to clearly state josh does not get any government benefits he doesn't get food stamps he doesn't get a check the same as Eagle Nick Audits. I do not get any type of government benefit. I do not have a government cell phone. I pay for this phone myself. Yeah, man. I, you know, well, I do get like these. I go and I I go find my dumpster dive and the drinks I get, I dumpster dive for and um, I have to survive. If I want something to eat, I have to go get it. I mean, it's not as easy as what people think. Oh, you're homeless, you don't got no responsibilities. I said, I do. I got responsibilities. My dog, my dog is my responsibility to keep him fed and make sure he has water and, you know, keep him up. I got responsibilities. See, I have to do things. I got to go, if I want something, I have to go get it. Yes, sir. It ain't Gabe. And I had, like I said, I hadn't always been out here, but it's something I had to get um, used to for a minute. Not for a lifetime. Um, we're trying to get out of here. Oh, yeah. Oh. I love you. Yeah, appreciate it. There you go. I'm up. Here. Get a hand, you baby. Come here. Come here. You love Lonnie. Don't be stubborn. Hey, where's your word? Come here, baby. She can't take her love. Don't you be stubborn. Here. Don't you be stubborn. You know what that is. Sometimes he's stubborn. But. He just don't want them other dogs. Like I said, when I got him, he had two other brothers, three other brothers, sisters, and they had to fight over food. And the only, the only um, human reaction they he got was when they gave him water. That was it. And they're in a little five by five building, and somebody give him water and just give him food. Just about twice that's it. So he's that's why he acts like that. He's afraid that um, his other dogs going to get it before he does. Yeah. And he's really uh, he's a damn good dog, man. Come on. Yeah, I love Smokey. He's a good little boy. Smokey's a good little baby. Yes, he is. He don't like a big dog. Smokey's a good little baby. Yes, he's a good boy. Does it tell? Smokey's a good boy now. I tell you what, there's certain people, if they tried to reach up there and pet old Smokey, he might take their hand off. <laughs> that they don't like. No, some people he don't like. Now, I want to tell you why that is. A dog knows a person's true nature. You cannot hide your true nature from a dog. You know what I mean, Burn? No, he's telling me love. Tell me they love him. Yeah, I love you too, Smokey. It's my boy, and I wouldn't trade him for nothing, man. Trade him for nothing in the world. Like I said, man, he... A person cannot hide how they really are from a dog. A dog can sense it. You can't trick a dog, you know what I mean, Vern? What? Excuse me. It's okay. You want to get the water? That's good. Excuse me. He's been, uh... Scooby-Dooby-Doo! Out he, this uh, is here. This here, Scooby. Kind of, uh, is his name Scoob or Scooby? Scooby. 
Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? He said, I'm right here, Burn. Can't you see me? Right there where Blake's on right there. She was in a yeah. uh, some kind of fire. We didn't know it. Come to find out it was my first dog's litter that uh buddy had and uh he just come back to um us, I guess. He, he got burnt. Uh, Eagle Nick don't have a dog. I have a bunch of cats. This is Smokey. This is Scooby. And this is Miss Beautiful Onyx. Hello, darling. She's smart, man. Dog, you're smart. She's a beautiful girl. Yes, she is. There's a big, beautiful girl. And there's some of them there bridge chickens. There's our friend, Mr. Not Daryl. Wave to everybody again, Not Daryl. That's Mr. Not Daryl. That is Scooby. This is our friend, Josh. And we're going to get ready to end this live stream here in just a little bitty bit and get ready to head back to that dark eagle's nest to give this phone a chance to charge up a little bit and process and upload this live stream. And, you know, it's not bad out here. But... Yes, sir, Sean. They do an excellent job to make sure that their dogs are fed and watered and well taken care of. That is what Josh was saying. They make sure they take care of their animals first because they are the ones who are always there for them. They are the ones they can always depend on, no matter what, come hell or high water. They know that their animals have their back. Those animals love them unconditional. You know what I mean, Bird? They don't say, well, if you ain't got no money in your pocket, don't come up loving on me. You know what I mean, Bird? They'll love you unconditionally. No matter if you're We've bad. actually got it backwards. <laughs> we are the animals. They should be the people. Yep. You know what I mean? Because there's too many of us people that act like animals. Not saying that I do or these people here does, not Josh, not not Daryl, not Miss Jessie. You know what I mean? There's too many people that act like animals and too many animals that act like people. Yeah, they uh, don't matter if you're mad or not, they're going to love you no matter what. Prakash, Miss Jessie don't want to talk, so I'm not going to force her to talk. Yeah. We had a long night. We all Hello, Italy. Hello. We had a long night last night. You know, we had, uh, like I said, the officers come up and told us we had to move, and then the explosion happened, so it made it a little bit worse. So, Dale Carlston, I must send you into the corner without your dessert if you don't watch that big fat yapper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They love us no matter what, no matter if you get mad at them and call them dumb or whatever, man, because they walk right in front of you. They love you no matter what. They depend on you. And they love you. That's why I love having my hair. Here we got my one. Dog. We got number 72 again. I love my dog, man. Same one, Kesky. Yeah. 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 Hey, we're waiting on our boss. 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 This is public property, the Constitution. No city ordinance or no state law is supposed to impede on the United States Constitution. I would not give him my information if I was y'all. You do not got to tell him jack shit. 
Let's see if we can't get that name and badge number. A. O'Neill, badge 614. You see how quick they are to violate people's damn rights. You see if he asked me for my name. Well, loitering has a limit of how long it is before it is actually loitering. But like I said, this is public property. He doesn't own this property. Providence doesn't own this property. Hey, what's your name and badge number, sir? Officer O'Neill, 614. Thank you, sir. You are free to go. We're not going to detain you any longer. They are not free to go. Not yet. You are free to go. I'm not going to detain you any longer. This is the one that's been stalking me. He's the one that came riding up here the wrong way. Think they can break laws that they're out here. He's trying to enforce a no loitering ordinance when he backs up in the road, which is a state law. He drives the wrong way up to here, which is a violation of the law. Hiding behind that badge and that gun and that qualified immunity, they break the law, and then they go, you can't be sitting over here. Did you hear him ask me for my name? Yeah, hang on just a minute, brother. He said they are not free to go. He can't make them stay here just because he's running their damn name. We finally gonna get a look at his tag here. Look you there. Police interceptor. Yeah, they do some intercepting. They needs to somebody police the police. That's what I'm out here for. I'm starting to get pissed. Yeah, I have to find it, brother. Hold on now. Y'all making me miss this police over here. Don't want to have it not on him. Him come up try to knock me in the back of the head. He looks like he would about to be that damn type. I hear Miss Sherry up there running his mouth. Hey, you need to go up under the bridge say something to that there rock head. You know what I mean, Byrne? Oh, I think Sherry's calling. Yeah, I know she was. I heard her up there talking to him because she ain't nothing but a damn snitch. I wonder when they did away with the physical education requirements to be a police officer. You know what I mean, Byrne? Get your day, Sherry. Yeah, I want to know when y'all going to go up there and say something to Sherry up under the bridge there. 
Y'all need to quit buying her drugs and arrest her. This one right here has been stalking me all the time. I've done this is four live streams I've got in my own and, and a video. So this is five times I've done seen this here, dude. He ain't got no batter yet. Hey. Be careful what you say, because they will get you to the air and stick their heads. I know that's so all right. right. I know just what, I know just what, what you say. I don't like hot cold. Yeah, uh, their boss needs to come bring that their money and pay these fellas so they don't have to sit here and be intimidated by B hackle number 72. Josh, what do you say that guy's name is? I, I get it. You've already said it to him and it's on here, so you might as well say it. No, uh, I got to work for it. Jim Newton. Tim Newton, you need to come down here and pay Josh and not Daryl their money. You got them down here waiting to get paid for working for you. Now they're being intimidated and threatened by this here Dalton Police Department officer who thinks he is Magnum P.I. You know what I mean, Byron? Looks more like Boss Hog from the Dukes of Hazard. He's just missing that there white suit. I like mustard on my biscuits and some of them there French fried taters. You know what I mean, Byron? We got one of them there popos up here under the bridge. He thinks he's big and bad, but he ain't nothing but big. You know what I mean, Byron? Looks like I need to lay off them there donuts. You know what I mean, Byron? I bet you he visits that there Krispy Kreme at least three times a day. I wonder how many times he dunks them donuts. I've already told him I wasn't going to detain him any longer. He's free to leave at any time. Scoob, come here, boy. Scooby, get over here, boy. Come here. There's a train coming, boy. Come here. Come here, buddy. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Scooby. Get your butt over here, boy. Come here. We got another one coming up here. See who we got here. Let's see who we got here. We got Barney Fife rolled up. What's your name and badge number, sir? What's your name and badge number? Officer Warren again. How you doing, brother? I could have swore you. Okay, there's two warrants. Okay, he, he was the warrant that was hacking into the internet over there. Let's go check out this. Officer Warren. 
Now, she was just trying to get her dog off the railroad track so it don't get killed. We've got car number 40. We've not had car number 40 before. It looks like a piece of crap, though. You know what I mean? Now, that is why she ran up there to get her dog off the railroad tracks. Dalton, Georgia, Georgia. This is here, I'll show you right here, brother. This is Dalton, Georgia, the carpet capital of the world. They don't got no tags on here, it says it. Oh, he left it open there. Let's see what we got there. You know, he didn't want me recording that there, live streaming that there laptop. He should have closed it. Now, he's going down here to harass these two gentlemen, but we're going to keep an eye on number 72 here, that stalker. Now, he has been stalking old Eagle Nick out oh, for a few days now. This is the fourth live stream I have got him on, plus a video. This is Officer A. O'Neill with the Dalton Police Department driving vehicle number 72, who thinks he is big and bad, but he is just a big part. He needs to lay off them there donuts, if you know what I mean, Byron. Stay away from that dark Krispy Kreme and that Dunkin' Donuts and try to eat a little bit more healthy. You know what I mean, Vern? Yep, ain't none of them got a front plate on it. Well, Richard Davis, he's got a taser on there. Maybe he'll use it. You see that there yellow handle? That is a taser. So why don't you give him a call? Maybe he'll pull it out for you. KYS, killing your streets. And this right here is what's killing the homeless people. This is where we're at. We're in Dalton, Georgia. Look. Dalton, Georgia. In the United States of America. You know what I mean, Byrne? Now, he went down there and got them two dudes' ID, or one of them anyway. Now, you see he has that ID in his hand. That is a seizure. Once they actually touch your ID, that is a seizure. Now, Georgia does not have a stop and ID law for pedestrians. Well, that's some nice graffiti right there. But we don't want to miss this. Do you see what I mean? They're here to investigate about loitering. Now, this officer here, Officer Warren, has the road blocked. He parked right here in the middle of the road, blocking the road. You know, this is a travel lane it comes up to here. 
like I said, they violate the laws themselves. They park where they're not supposed to. They back up in the roadway. They violate people's constitutional rights, stopping them and asking them for ID when Georgia does not have no stop and ID law for pedestrians. Those signs right over here, I'll show you, are unconstitutional because they violate the First Amendment. They violate the Constitution of the United States. Now, the Constitution states that the Congress nor the states shall pass any laws that violates the United States Constitution. But that is exactly what this city ordinance and state law does, is violates people's constitutional rights to freedom of movement, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. You know what I mean, Byrne. Glad to see y'all, 630 of y'all on here right now. We're glad to see y'all. Now, this is car number 40, Officer Warren, and car number 72, Mr. O'Neill. Now, that city ordinance and that state code is a direct violation of the United States Constitution. Now, them getting these people's identities is a violation of their Fourth Amendment right to be safe and secure in their person, property, possessions, and effects. I tried to tell them nothing. Now see them trains, here comes another one already. Hey, which one of y'all's gonna go up there and talk to Sherry under the bridge? There's a sign right there that says no trespassing. Sherry's up there under the bridge. I know she's y'all's buddy, but just Sherry. Crazy Sherry. We gonna make sure Miss Sherry gets checked out as well. You see Smoke, you see how he acted, Officer Warren. He didn't act like that to nobody else. Now it looks like he's giving them out tickets. You see if he tries to give Eagle Nick one. If he does, I might tell him to stick it where the sun don't shine. You know what I mean, Byrne? This here is called a First Amendment protected activity. I am recording the police in the performance of their duties. Based off those signs and the actual pull that we have, this is no longer. Don't get so close to me, brother. Here's your warning. I don't want no warning. Your warning. You cannot be loitering in this area. Have a good day, sir. Hey, sir. Yes, sir. I am recording y'all in the performance of your duty. Look at the yes. First Amendment. Yes. Freedom of the morning. press. Freedom of the press. I am not loitering. Y'all need to learn what the Constitution means. And let me tell you this, Mr. O'Neill, you need to quit riding up the wrong side of the road and you need to quit backing up on the highway. That is a law, you know. And Officer Warren, quit blocking traffic. This is a travel lane. The officer Warren was pretty cool. He never said nothing, but you see old O'Neill, I never gave my name, yet they gave me a warning here. Oh, they got me down as 180 pounds. I don't weigh no 180 pounds. If I weigh 180, old officer Warren there weighs about 400. You know what I mean, Vern? Lay off of them there donuts. We're going to walk on down here and see what's being said.
We're going to make sure they're not trying to violate no more of their rights. You know what I mean, Byrne? And I know that Miss Sherry up there was the one who called these polos. We are live. Now that man just violated my Fourth Amendment rights by handing me a piece of paper with my damn name on it. That means he just illegally seized my name to put it on a piece of paper, which is a violation of my Fourth Amendment rights to be safe and secure in my person, papers, property, and effects. Driving number 72 with the Dalton Police Department. Hey, if you're still loitering, if you don't leave, you can get arrested. That's what that warning means. Sir, First Amendment protected activity. Look it up. This is a public roadway, sir. That violates the Constitution. State and city is violating the Constitution. Yes, sir, sure are. Talk all that shit. You didn't see what kind of sorry ass police they are, especially that big old fat ass. I should have offered him some of these here pastries. That's what it is. He's mad because he didn't get his morning donuts. You know what I mean, Vern? But we're going to go back up here and get that our bicycle before somebody was to jack my bicycle. Now, like I said, I'm going to have to head on back to the Eagle's Nest to get this here live stream processed and uploaded. They think they're big and bad, but one of them ain't nothing but big. You know what I mean, Byrne? But violating people's constitutional rights is a crime. You know what I mean, Byrne? Violating people's constitutional rights is a crime. We're going to go down here and watch them leave when they leave down here. Make sure they ain't fixing to try to arrest this poor gentleman. Now, they may be trying to shake him down to see if they can't get some money off of him. They are crooked, you know. We got carpet crooks and cops, and we got too many crooked cops that is on the carpet. Too many crooked cops that is on the carpet. You know what I mean, Burn. Yeah, they gonna leave now. Do you see how police treats people who are homeless? Hell, it's bad enough they're homeless without they have their rights violated. 
by people like o O'Neill there in number 72, who needs to go get him a couple of more of them donuts and leave them homeless people alone. You show me uh, cops doing their duty to violate the rights of the homeless. Now, like I said, that sign is unconstitutional. That is a public right-of-way. That leads up here to Providence Ministries, who feeds homeless and the less fortunate. Now, Josh and not Daryl was waiting on that man they had been working for to come and pay them. That is where they said he said that he would come to pay them, yet he has not came and paid them. Zesley Snipes. How original. Hey, stalking is against the law. Quit stalking me, number 72. That number 72's been stalking me for about a week now. We have vehicle number 40 and vehicle number 72 with the Dalton Police Department. Now vehicle number 72, Lucifer O'Neill has been stalking Eagle Nick Audits for a while. I guess he likes old Eagle Nick, but Eagle Nick don't swing that way, if you know what I mean, Vern. I don't need no girlfriend. There we have it, folks. B Hackle 72. O'Neill and B Hackle 40, Officer Warren, who was pretty a Pretty much an okay officer. He was nowhere the piece of shit that O'Neill was, who had been eating too many of them their donuts. But here we have it. They gave these two gentlemen a warning as well. Now we are going to end this live stream and head on back to the Eagle's Nest to get this here live stream processed and uploaded. Now, I pray that you all have a blessed morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you may be. But for, before I go, I'd like to say, now you see these two gentlemen here. They are homeless. Now, if you see someone when you are out and about in your daily life who looks like they may be struggling or hurting, please do not just pass them by. Don't turn a deaf ear or a blind eye because you never know when it could wind up being you when you find yourself in that type of situation where you just don't know what to do. Take care of yourselves, but take care of each other. Try not to think of people as strangers, 
but more like a sister or a brother. You know what I mean, Byron? Eagle Nick. Oh, this. I am Eagle Nick. And I'm out. Make sure to check out my YouTube channel. Subscribe. Check out all my mini shorts, videos, and past live streams. A lot of police interaction. Live streams from the Whitfield County Courthouse to Dalton Police Service Center. The United States Post Office. Just videos. But I am Eagle Nick. Hello, Northwoods Press. How you doing, my friend? Make sure you watch this from back when that there Dalton Police Department officer showed up. Who gave old Eagle Nick a warning for trespassing? I mean, for loitering. Now, Eagle Nick never gave my name. They violated my constitutional rights by putting my name down on that dark piece of paper. They violated my Fourth Amendment rights to be safe and secure in my person, paper, properties, and effects. But we are headed out and headed back to the eagle's nest. You all have a very blessed day, Eagle Nick. Oh, this. I am Eagle Nick. And I'm out.